This is a uh, pipe smoking video for health of pipe smokers. Now I found that online there is very little information on the health of uh, pipe smoking. It is presumed that it is um, as dangerous as cigarette smoking. To be honest, from the research I have done, I have found very little to reimburse or back up that kind of uh, thought. Frankly, it is laziness, from what I can understand. What they like to do, with those who wish to criticize pipe smoking, is broad brush it when it comes to um, cigarette smoking. Turns out, from what I've been able to find, is that there are four different styles of smoking. There is one, cigarette smoking. Two, cigar smoking, inhaling. Three, uh, cigar smoking, non-inhaling. And last but not least, pipe smoking. And for all those who know anything about pipe smoking, you are not supposed to inhale the smoke. It's oddly bad for the lungs. What a shock. Now, going on to WebMD, I found that they bundle up pipe smoking and cigar smoking together. Out of the uh, three health warnings that they have for this bundle, two of the three pertain strictly for cigar smoking. The one that is listed for pipe smoking is the cancer warning. And this is what I find uh, all, all over the place when it comes towards the detriment of pipe smoking. And that is, if you're a pipe smoker, the chance of acquiring oral cancer, this would be lip, gum, uh, top of the esophagus, uh, tongue cancer, is two to four times more likely than the average person walking down the street. Now this I found interesting, because first thing you have to do is say, what is the likelihood of the average person walking down the street to acquire uh, oral cancer of any sort? I went to a friend of mine who's been in the medical field for many, 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 many years. And she said, for an average person who does nothing uh, of poor health, no chewing, no smoking, no nothing, turns out it's about non-existent. So let's say it is zero, 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 zero percent, yet scratch off a zero. And that's what you got it for pipe smoking. The other funny part is, this is for people who smoke five bowls a day. Now for a hobbyist pipe smoker, as much as myself and you know many others who are out there, they more or less will smoke a pipe much less than that a week. So it's pretty much a, a, a non a non starter I did find that there is another um, influence on your health when it comes to pipe smoking and that is those who smoke a pipe tend to live two years or more longer than those who don't smoke a pipe I believe this has got to do with uh, lowering of stress levels other than that I have found no other problems when it comes to pipe smoking. Other than the fact that people tend to brush all together with cigarette smoking, which as we know is horribly detrimental to your health. Now I suggest go out there, look it up yourself, see what you can find. But this is what, it, what I have been able to uncover through my research before I even bother to pick up this hobby at all. So go out. See what you find. Let me know. Let the rest of the pipe community know. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Thank you.